Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Stocks to Play channel where we're giving you the hottest penny plays daily. So, yo, today, man, today was a pretty rough day. Let's start off by uh, hitting up the uh, spy and seeing what that went like today. So, we, we, we know, like, man, today, like, the market wasn't performing too well as a whole, as usual, for the past couple of days, a little bit. As you can see here, everything's red again. Um, there was some green in the morning and then towards midday just transition and everything just went bloody as usual How it's been going a little bit lately like just make sure you got your stop losses on like There's not much you could do or if you want to take the other route Which I've learned and uh, with experience that sometimes it's just best to sit back average down a little bit and then like things will bounce gradually um, There's nothing you could do when the whole market's kind of coming down if it's not just your particular play going down Like y'all you don't really got to stress it too much like that. Like it's everything as a whole But anyway, uh, the spy Yeah, so it was con Consistent downtrend all day today um, Tried to bounce a little bit to the end, but still did not make it and then all in all this week um, Since Monday after that little pop it's been boom 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 tried to uh, regain some there and then boom back down again. So like uh, we, we can't really say much about the plays when things are really going down like that um, All in all like my plays like yeah um, Sadu was probably the one that took the biggest hit today um, It went down it was touching what? Days range right here 76 6 9 to 67 um, That's kind of what yeah, that's what it was and you know, Sadu actually had really some news this morning. It's nothing crazy. It's just like a, to present at the satellite uh, 2023 carnival um, Cape carnival um, like it's just like Just another one of those press conferences. It's not the best news ever It's not like nothing compared to the news yesterday with a uh, new contract for next phase of NASA Astra project which we went over in the other video there um, But Sadu's been putting out PR pretty frequently they have the ai uh technology and their planned satellite constellation that we went over to in the other video um with them <clears throat> that's a play that's just like a new technology kind of predicting things before it happens out in fucking in space out there and stuff like that so anyway but let's take a look at lunar so yo man lunar today this thing went nuts like from 10 bucks all the way up to 18 something maybe touch 19 dollars we'll see and what I want to point out here is, um, and what we're looking for is a little bit of sympathy. Not that it needs it, but it needs it right now. It's like this sector that Lunar is in is the exact same sector that Sadu is in, okay? And um, it's, uh, today, okay, we all know Lunar ran, had a crazy run up a couple, a month, maybe it was a month ago, a little bit more than a month ago, where it ran for like a hundred something dollars. Like that stuff happens. There it is, right? This is today from boom, boom. That's all in one day, right? From ten dollars bounce. Um, we had major support down in that ten dollar range there, and it, it bounced. And some people really hit it and hit it well, you know. But this lunar play is in the exact same sector as um, Sadu, uh Aerospace Technology over there. So like I I, I know Sadu right now is having a little trouble. Keep in mind they had an offering. Um, not too long ago where it dropped from just under a dollar to like 40 cents or something like that. Yeah, 40 cents and then started to go back up and we hit back that dollar too and we played that. So we just were playing it again for like the third or fourth time now. But seeing how Lunar ran today and the eyes that's coming in on this, like we're hoping some of that <laughs> it just pours on to Sadu because it's way cheaper and most people would rather have more shares of that than just to take a position in Lunar, especially considering this thing ran up like almost 100% today, um, closed 57% about the end of the day, down 3% right now in the after hours. But yeah, so Sadu and Lunar, same sector, one's bumping, one's trying. Um, in the after hours, it's at 69.20, which is... Yeah, you know, it's a red day. Things happen. It is what it is, right? But moving along, um, I'm going to talk about you, 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 you. So this is um, on the radar today because, like, okay, first of all, it's the chart that really has us. And then second of all, all the ratings out there is buy, buy, buy. And the analysis price target is 1138 13 on the high end, low end, $9, right? This play had taken a serious dip this morning, and that's how it caught my eye, right? So you, 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 
how okay so this is uh the five-year chart all in all so we know we got this trend line here like serious support around that's growing from the 430 range all the way to the 485 and it hasn't broke below that line in the past five years so give or take that's like when I took the play, I'm like, that's the lowest it could hit in my head. And uh, will I risk it? I'll, I'll like, that helps me with my risk management. You know what I mean? So, will I, I, my stop loss would go off way before that, but these are more pricey of some shares. So, if you're holding a couple hundred shares here, like, whatever, if you're holding 400 shares and it drops a dollar, you lost $400, vice versa. It is what it is, right? So, like, people think because you have penny stocks and then they have penny stocks under a dollar and then these are still classified as kind of penny stocks because they're under 10 bucks. But the share, the amount of shares doesn't change the percentage on the dollar value. Like, whether you put a thousand bucks into a $10 stock and get less shares or a thousand bucks into a penny stock and get 3,000 shares, it's the same percentage gain on the value of dollars that you put into there, right? But, um, <clears throat> so yeah, this today, um, it had a rough morning. I guess it was some news came out with earnings and um, they kind of missed a little, uh, did, a, did, did a little bit worse uh, this quarter and it caused a significant drop. As you can see, it was at 6.15, close to the opening, right at the opening, even touched 6.18 and came all the way down on one dip down there to 5.71. So that was, big drop like a huge drop and then so we saw that we're like all right maybe it'll scale back up first we read the article see how bad it was it wasn't even that bad to be honest you know what i mean um it's not that bad like people it is what it is plus the market was red today so you can you see you know what happens right like anyway so going back to the past like being like tech analysis or chart analysis we 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 go back into like the history like that's the only thing that we could get any information from right so you can see here this is these two bounces here we're back in that zone now right the 570 ranges 540 range um every time it's went down here in the past six months this is only in the past six months it's always bounced back bounced back up and giving you a call two almost two dollars a share right even a little bit more right depending on where you get in <clears throat> one two two times that's happened like um i'm gonna go with historical data here and and help this really attributed to the risk management um this might be a longer kind of play the market cap is a lot higher than usual penny stock so this is not a play uh that you can think oh it's just gonna run like that don't get it twisted it can't big plays run like that all the time but it needs severely more volume to be running like that too you know what i mean but yeah you 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 picked up today really like it obviously still playing with stop losses and things like that but this is a kind of a longer play we could probably get somewhere faster i think it went down a little more than it should have just because of how bad the market was doing in general today moving on uh, okay, L Y L T, loyalty benches. All right, now we're getting into some gangster shit. Okay, yo, you guys all know the last bankruptcy play. I forget L H D X or whatever it was, right? This thing went from like 14 cents to 12 cents, or initially 20 cents, all the way, and then shot up in the dollars, like uh, over two bucks, I think it was at one point. And like, um, bankruptcy plays, like, yo, don't ask me why people play them, but I guess they play them so that they're hoping that some things come together right in the end for the company and it ends up not filing bankruptcy and then there's a whole new wave going on you know what i mean but like these are high risk plays like do not play this with money you need like whatever you put into this play l y l t <coughs> be prepared to lose like just just know you don't need this money anymore because this is a bankruptcy play like you don't know how this is going to work out and like my last experience with the bankruptcy play, I hit I hit Party City. I did well on Party City, but then LHDX one, I got stopped out. Like, yo, when you're playing bankruptcy plays, like, if you have stop losses in there, you're probably going to get whacked. Like, so this time, I took LYLT, but I only bought a couple hundred shares, and that's because I, I just figured in my head, I'm willing to lose this, and uh, if it bumps, I'll could double potentially seven, eight times my money just on the hype of bankruptcy plays. And even if you only had a hundred bucks in there, a hundred dollars to two hundred dollars or a hundred dollars to five hundred dollars is still good money. Look at all you had to put out really and truly. But keep in mind you could lose all of this in one night. Like 
holding this play overnight is dangerous. Like, it's dangerous. I did it just because, like, I've had experience with bankruptcy plays. Uh, on the last two, won one, lost on one, and didn't lose bad on the one, but got stopped out. And then this is the third one. So we see what happens here. And this company, a lot of people lost money on this because, man, this stock was trading just yesterday. <clears throat> Yeah, like a dollar thirty-seven, and then the day before one sixty-seven, and people on stock twits. One guy, especially, they're really promoting this company, and then boom, hit him with this today, and it went from one thirty-seven and touched like forty cents at one point, uh, thirty-eight cents at one point. Um, people got burned on this play. Like I'm buying in in the forty cent range. Like they were in the dollar thirty, dollar forty, dollar sixty range. Like those people got hurt. Like. You couldn't have seen this coming, you know? Like, you really and really truly couldn't. But yeah, LYLT, that's the bankruptcy play for any of you gamblers out there who just need some action, right? Actually, surprising, it's not even a surprise. Like, we know how these plays go, man. But that play is like moving the most in the after hours right now. It's at it's 62 cents, it's up 7.45 cents in the after hours. I'm in like the 40s. So, like, man, it's hard to believe. But yeah, like, the one play that's not a trade and that's a gamble is like paying off all the time these days in the market like it is what it is like you when you're in the market for a long time you start to realize what people gravitate towards and you you play it too just like everyone else you know like i said i only bought a couple hundred shares of this like whatever happens happens it's a gamble lylt filing bankruptcy might not be here in the morning you don't know right but yeah moving on to um Okay, VS. VS is actually, um, this is the year chart here. Um, it's had some good pops throughout the year, significant actually. And then we're running really close to bottom again. The chart is what got us on this play. Um, the company itself, what they're doing, it doesn't even, not at this point, it was the chart that got us. Like, I'll be straight honest with you. Um, it's like, we, we want it to start curling a little here. It hasn't yet. It's had some uptrend. It's had some movement today, some bounces back down. But I have a position in this too as well. As well. I got filled this morning. Um, I don't know if it was the best day because things were just going red. But um, I got in at a pretty good price. I'm up on this as well. Um, it, it is what it is. Hold on. Let's see what it's sharing now in the after hours. 67 so like yeah vs is up 11 percent today um 0.63 percent the after hours on a shitty bloody merry day in the market so man i'm not complaining like the thing with penny stocks people need to realize too is like say you're holding four plays like two of them are balance out the other two you'll win on you'll win on one that should cover all your losses or like it, it's, it's managing a prop portfolio it's it's a tough game it takes years of messing up to get it right and like figure out a system that works for you but penny stocks is it's a different game you know what i mean but yeah all in all vs hey it's doing okay on a red day um i believe it sells a lot in the tank it's just getting started um this is swing trade as well just because um like there's nothing behind it just like that it's the technicals uh the volume today was low and it's still got 11 percent, which is okay but yeah for as of right now i'll just be chilling out keeping my eye on this bankruptcy play that I had to just jump into. But, um, hey, I, I played them before. I know how they go. And like I said, just don't, it's a gamble, a bankruptcy play. It's not a trade, bro. It's not. They get delisted, head over to the OTC market. Like, uh, it is what it is. Like, you get, for the people who didn't get out of LHDX on time, like, they woke up and it was like, where did my money go? It's in a whole nother market now, you know? Hopefully, they have that account open and all that, too. Um, but yeah guys anyway like comment subscribe if you want to get in our paid whatsapp group just to put out your email down below we'll contact you uh take care and just mention like some down below what plays you guys want me to get into today was just kind of um about plays that we're in and what we're uh, and that are hopeful for the near future versus any real dd like that just going off charts and technicals and levels but anyway um we'll chat take care